Yo, 95% rookie here. Welcome back to another Let's Play. I'm done making excuses for not recording shit just because I'm busy as fuck, but um, yeah, let's get into this. Uh, let's see, so we did Beyond Hope. We are on Stepping Stone. I think I was in the middle of a playthrough when I last launched this. Okay, yeah, let's see, so... <clears throat> um, so this is the one where it's the prequel... Well, I, mean, I guess the other ones are prequels too, but it's the prequel to Eastwood, like a direct prequel where uh, NATO needs to capture Malden in order to secure the route to get to Altus. Although it doesn't really geographically make that much sense. I mean, it's just an excuse to fight over Malden. Um, so that's pretty interesting in that way. So we can either play Special Forces or Infantry. Last time I played this, I played as Infantry. I have played both in the past. Um... I think this time around I'll probably play Special Forces. I think that's the more interesting one, really. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Revert. We got the opening text. Bloody sea set. Chinese sea set this time around. Although, well, I mean, partial. We are fighting the Scimitar Regiment, I think, right? Or no, is that is the Scimitar Regiment the one that's in? Um. No, that's the Chimera Regiment. Yeah, we're fighting the Scimitar Regiment. Pretty sure, on in this campaign, or in this scenario thing. So I guess I guess technically, so these this island's airbase controls the Gibraltar Strait, so we can't send our fleet through until we secure it. I guess, but um, I mean, whatever. Doesn't really make that much sense, because I mean, like, if we're that worried about it, wouldn't we be worried about the entire like northern coast of Africa? Oh, well, we get some good action out of it, so. Oh. Just had a uh, bit of a frame skip thing there. Hopefully it's not too big of a deal. Alright, gentlemen. I know at least one of you has just arrived. So I'll go through this again, from the top. After our exit and the catastrophic handling of the Cold War stockpiles, Malden has drifted into CSAT's sphere of influence. Our former base, here, to the north of the main airport, is now a major concern. China's got a squadron of long-range aircraft there. Shikras. Brass tacks. Shikras. We need air superiority over the Gibraltar Straits. If we don't have that, we can invade Altus and Stratus. Thankfully, the Chinese are keen to avoid a wider conflict. They've agreed to ground their jets and accept a temporary NATO holding force. Oh. That's here. However, African troops from CSAT Scimitar Regiment. Sorry about that if you heard that. Client. They've withdrawn into the Windows interior, sound. Taking some tanks and man portable AA systems with them. Here and possibly here as well. Obviously, this so that's is our kind of delaying tactic. But for what? It's hard to say. Our response has been about denying the enemy time. Hence, this bridgehead to the south down here at the harbor near Laporte. If we push west, we can sever logistics and open up another front outside Chapoy and Kan Kan. Uh, give me one second. I just got to make sure I can open my resource monitor just to make sure everything's good. Um, okay. All right, yeah, so let's pick Special Forces, destroy the enemy mortar team. First, though, we'll need to silence a mortar, firing on our lines from this area here, not far from Saint Marie. It seems to be constantly switching positions. So, yeah, Malden is... You and your team isn't... I can't remember exactly. Isn't this the setting for Arma 1? 
or Operation Flashpoint or something. I can't remember where it is. Be mindful of CSAT patrols. And it's got like a French naming scheme, and at least in Armor 3 it does. you've accomplished your mission, retreat to Point Bora and regroup. And that's all. Nothing you can't handle. Dismissed. All right, let's do this. Hold fire. So we get to command a special forces team. Cool. Oh, maps. Okay. So we got spar 17s. Making tracks. Copy. Or at least I do. Interrogative. Do you have a visual on your primary? Negative. Audio contact only. Get a beat on a pariah. Move fast and hit point Alverstone. I haven't played armor in a little bit, so it might be a little rusty. Okay, so we have GPS. Yes, we do. Okay, so we are heading for Point Sanford. The invasion is going on over here. We are trying to take out a mortar team here. We'll just keep moving in to the southeast. I got some hold fire. Assuming these CSAT guys lost night vision, but they might not because we are fighting a lesser equipped uh, CSAT force. Scimitar Regiment, which are like North African troops. And they have, they don't have like the good body armor and everything like that, so. Another thing that's like, yeah, I wish this faction was included in. I think, um, what is it? Uh, it's, uh, what, what's the mod? Um, Atlas or something like that? I can't, I can't remember exactly what it's called. Um, there's some mod that expands Armor 3 Vanilla. And it includes, like, Argana or whatever, the, the like, fictional country this comes from. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of, like, at least the best, like, the uh, closest you can get. But, yeah, I wish they had just included these factions as factions within the editor for Zeus and stuff. I do not see... Let's just, okay, we see the vehicle there. Got a little infantryman there. Engage them from. There's no real cover here. I guess there's cover over by these rocks at least. Deploy our troops. Medic can go there. Auto Rathman can move up there to the front. Whoever this guy is, Marksman, maybe he can go there. I'll hold it this rock here. So, let's see, uh, could engage them from here, but I, I don't think the mortar is actually at this position. Mortar must be here, so we could just avoid this place, actually. Yeah, let's just fucking do that. Yeah, fuck this place and avoid it. Ignore them, boys. Bypass Point Sanford, we're going to head for Point Alverson. Got an enemy truck, 300 meters, bearing one nine or five. Rifleman, 100 meters, front. Truck, 100 meters, front. Eyes on target. Target in sight. I like how we're playing as like regular NATO special forces rather than just CTRG. It's kind of cool. We're just like you know elite NATO forces that are deployed with the, uh, what fleet is it? Is it 9th fleet or something? I can't remember what fleet it is. I really brush up on my lore someday before I do these. Maybe I'll spend some time today reading the wiki. Although, I mean, be aware, be aware that the wiki I have found, like, lore mistakes and stuff on the wiki like that no, nothing against like people the people who edit it or anything but some people like take a few liberties with like what is stated i mean just like i do i definitely do that but um 
you know, I've seen facts on the wiki that are true. Oh, shit. Uh, that are treated as facts when they are not. Um, the war, at least. Okay, let's, maybe we'll let these guys pass? Yeah, they don't have a night vision or even flashlights. Not engage them, guys. Guardian. Oh shit. Brian, he said raise the alarm. Over. Okay. Remember the mission. Time is running out. Do not get pinned down in a firefight. Out. Okay. That was a little stupid of me. I didn't know. I realized I was in the middle of a whole like patrol. All right. Let's go on open fire. Three. Go. Are we getting mortared? Mortar, 100 meters, right. Right. Oh shit! They moved the mortar this way. That's oh, right here. Huh? I just kind of accidentally fell upon it. Must be in this vehicle here, I think. Pariah to Guardian. Got eyes on our mortar. Big fire from the truck. Over. Oh, and I got the driver. Yeah, they got the driver. Oh, shit. You gonna stop driving? <laughs> About to shoot out the engine, I guess, maybe? There we go. Alright, my team's all good. And this guy can okay, treat recon scout. Like an explosive charge. Make sure my guys are clear. Three, four, move up. I'm gonna move back here. I think we're good to blow it. Guardian, enemy artillery at Point Alverstones, out of commission. How copy? Over. Acknowledged, Pariah. Great work. Listen, we're receiving some new information. CSAT armor, possible sighting. Grid 057 043. We need to go to the attack here. No problem. Yep. We'll see if we can get a closer look. Out. Alright. Gotta get a closer look on this stupid kid. Got even alive. Yeah, oh, it's Carrie. Carrie's voice actor. Um. Move 75 meters. Got the three group guys. That was a neat little mobile mortar you're, you don't even do we even know that it was mobile we just knew that it was firing kind of cool like he just happens to be Ready. discover it I saw a plane didn't i what's that i thought i saw a drone or something hey you guys need to move quicker please what are you doing <laughs> Two. he wounded i guess <laughs> Oh shit. We're engaging more guys. Soldier, 75 meters, left flank. Man, 200 meters, right. We're in the light of this fire, so they can see us pretty good. Move, but I want my guy to just heal him like already. Oh shit! Behind us. I should save. I want to just keep moving, but my if my guy's wounded, he's just gonna fucking stay behind. Machine gunner, one hundred meters front. 
Oh my god, there's so many. Um Okay guys, let's let's break contact. Yeah, three's dead, whatever. Hold your fire. We got a man down. Move seventy five meters. Front. Solid copy. I should have just broke contact, but yeah, Otto Ethelman was wounded, so I kind of wanted to save him, but not worth losing the whole team over. Move 100 meters! Front! Ready! Copy that! Machine gunner! 100 meters! Front! Eyes on target! Come on, guys. Move a bit faster, please. Can I get them out of combat mode? What? Where? Three. Oh, wait. Seven. Oh, where? Target in sight. Oh, fuck. Every group. Return to formation. And stay on me. Across this road here. Target in sight. Machine gunner, seventy five meters. You guys are still with me, right? Lagging behind, but but that's an enemy. Uh Where are my teammates? What are you guys doing? Come on. Get out of combat mode. Whatever. Yeah, that's one of the biggest problems with Army's AI is once they get into combat mode they're they do not want to leave it, and they'll just kind of, like, stick to cover. I mean, it's it's nice that they stick to cover and have some survivability, but when you are when you move slow, there's some situations where, like, the, and the AI can't possibly know this, like, realistically, where you do not want to move slowly between cover or, like, proning at all. You want to just move fast. But once they're in combat, that's the only thing they know how to do. So it's, like, definitely a big flaw with Arma 3's AI is that. Like, the ability to rush in combat would be a nice addition. They're gonna be break. They're gonna say they can't. They don't know where I am any second now, probably. I don't want you to engage those guys. Oh my god. And then, of course, I could just sit around with them for like, you know, 30 minutes waiting for them to catch up to me, but. I, I can probably just complete the mission on my own. I'll just tell them to move here. Do the recon myself. So, we're south of Point Alverstone. I need to move this way a bit. 352, 042. Here. But I don't want to hit St. Marie. So we can get to. Is there a hill here? Higher elevation than St. Marie, maybe? They're just yelling about seeing enemies. Eyes on target. Yes, I get it, guys. All right, we just gotta get eyes on this armor and then maybe call in an airstrike on it or something. Now they're getting engaged. I should be able to see it from here, hopefully. Save. Target down. All down. right. So it's past Saint Marie. 
Why is that in there? You gotta be shitting me. Eh. Guardian, it's Pariah. You won't believe this. That armor? It's junk. Just some old Ruski wreckage left over from the Cold War. Only danger here is if I cut myself and die of septicemia. Over. Roger, Pariah. High tail at the point Bora. Out. High tail at point Bora. Oh, so we're getting out of here? Okay. That can't be the whole mission, right? He's down. I'll regroup with my men. We'll get the hell out of here. I wonder if we'll get another objective before we get there. Pretty early. Oh, another mortar. Guardian to Mariah. Flash. Alpha is in the ring. Neutralize that gun. ASAP. Solid copy, Guardian. Can you hear that fucker? He's not far. Out. Don't we have airstrikes for this? I guess they have anti-air. Oh, he's in this village here. Move 75 meters. Get my guys to move in and help me out if they can. I'll probably just have to do this by myself. Roger that. Let's do this. Guardian, it's Bravo. We got intel on that mortar. Great work, Bravo. Local sim pop, sir. Just a sec. Et t'es pour ça? Oui. Pour ça, vous m'arrivez ici. Grid zero five one zero five two. No, no, disregard my last. Grid zero five one. Zero four two. I say again. Zero five one zero four. We're already here. It's a, it's a small farmhouse. Shit. Danger of collateral damage. Understood. All right. Did you get all that? Affirmative. Moving there now. Well, I guess that's why we couldn't airstrike it was because it was at a small farmhouse. I don't think that would stop the U.S. military in real life, but. Oh shit. I guess they took out my man. Oh shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's try that again. Let's have my guys hold up here. Maybe give me some cover instead of going in and getting shot. there now out grenade got him our objective? I guess I would destroy it. What's in this? Ah, explosive charge is convenient. Report in. Over. Grid zero, five, one, zero, four. Guardian, second mortar eliminated. Alpha's home free. Just in time. Now we're going to fire objective in Xville. Out. All right, let's Xville. 
Can I you could tell your guys to force go into careless mode? Like you can in uh the editor. I mean it's kind of like a buggy mode, like you're not supposed to use it very often, but um basically it forces them to be in safe mode regardless of what's going on, but oh shit. But uh I mean if you if you really want your guys to move it would be useful. That's a nice shot. Move across this open field real quick. Yeah, aiming with lasers is just very nice with night vision. You guys can take care of these sprinklers. I'm heading back to base. Report position. Sit rep. Red zero five zero zero four. How can I report my position as the squad leader? Is there even a way? There must be a way to do it. Oh, my guys are dying. We're at this thing here. Gotta move north. I like to use on the GPS if you don't want to just check your grid or whatever to find out where you are. The little shapes in the tree cover and stuff on the map, like these green splotches. Like, see this little shape here? I see that on my GPS and I just know exactly where I am. Um, that's what I like to use to navigate with the GPS. Let us. Go marker. Move. Bonner's still alive. Front. Roger that. Almost there. Right, a guardian. Almost at point four. My boys aren't far behind. We'll RV shortly. Over. Copy that. Excellent. Yeah, they aren't Sergeant. far behind. Get on the other the one side. who's alive, at least. Alright, that's it for that part, I guess. Next part will be the next mission.